This is my Spartacus War of the Damned episode 8 review, and it's called Separate Paths. Now, this episode had a lot of stuff going on, and uh, where do I begin? Um, I guess I'll start off talking about, uh, well, this is the episode where Crixus finally separates from Spartacus. Now, the way it happened was, well, actually, it happened in a way that I didn't expect it to, because I thought that Crixus and Spartacus were going to end up getting into another big disagreement, you know, arguing, and I thought that Crixus and Spartacus would have separated on bad terms, but actually, um, Spartacus let Crixus leave, and they was on good terms, you know, um, Crixus said he was tired of running, that he wanted to go to Rome and basically take on the Romans head on, and Spartacus just let him go. He just wished him the best and hoped that he was victorious. And um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And it was kind of sad because um, a lot of characters were separating, you know. Um, I was surprised that Agron decided to go with Crixus because I thought that Agron was going to stay with Spartacus. Because Agron always pretty much did what Spartacus told him to do. But Agron chose to go with Crixus because he believed in Crixus' um, way of thinking about it. He just wants to fight the Romans. You know, he, I guess he was tired of running too. And it was kind of sad because Agron had to uh, tell Nasir to stay with Spartacus because uh, he wanted Nasir to live. And he felt that, um, you know, he didn't want to see him die, so he told Nasir to stay with Spartacus, and that was kind of sad. And, you know, Crixus and Spartacus saying their goodbyes, you know, it was, it was kind of sad, but at least they did leave on good terms, you know, with, uh, you know, respect for one another. You know, they left as brothers, even though they, they separated, but they were still friends. And wow, um, the whole thing with Caesar and Tiberius, I'm shocked at that because I did not see that coming at all. Um, Caesar got raped. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You know, and I, I know that Caesar is going to find some kind of way to get back at him. I don't know if it's going to happen in this, in the next episode, or if it's going to happen in the final episode, but. Caesar's going to get him back some kind of way. I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't know if he's going to actually kill him or or set up Tiberius some kind of way. I don't know. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the final battle in this episode with Crixus and all of his men um, having this big, huge battle. And what had happened was... Um, you know, Crixus and his men were fighting a group of Romans. It was a pretty big army, and they were victorious. You know, uh, Crixus killed their leader, and you know they thought they won the battle, but actually the battle was just beginning because right after Crixus defeated, well, after Crixus and his army defeated all the the Romans, then Crassus showed up with you know Caesar and Tiberius and his men, and they pretty much just overwhelmed Crixus and his men and Caesar was fighting with Crixus and Caesar was about to get killed by Crixus and then all of a sudden you see somebody stab Crixus with a spear from behind and it was that little bastard Tiberius oh I can't stand that guy out of all the guys that could have killed Crixus it had to be that little punk ass mother Oh, man, and then it was Tiberius that basically executed Crixus, cutting his head off. That's it. Somebody has got to kill that little dude. I mean, that's, Tiberius needs to die, and he needs to die in the next episode. If he, if he doesn't die in episode 9, he better sure die in episode 10. I mean, he has got to die. I mean, he is... I can really say that Tiberius is this season's Asher. He's just that guy that everybody hates. Everybody wants to see him die. I want to see him die too. I hope 
that Caesar kills him, though. I, I really do. Because, I mean, because we know good and damn well that um, Tiberius can't fight worth the damn anyway. He had to attack Crixus from behind like the coward that he is. It, it was a uh, this was a really good episode it was sad but it was a good episode and um, we have to they're not going to show the next episode next week they're not going to show that till the week after that so shoot now we got to wait two weeks just to see what happens next um, well tell me what you guys thought about this episode and I'll see you guys later <laughs>